Uh, all right, I'm going to jump through. This is a uh, Chris Stanley, <laughs> once again, weird conspiracy that he believes in and no one else does. He claims there is a time traveler caught at a Tyson fight from, was it 1995? 1995 in Vegas against Pete McNeely. And if you look at the video, in the background, there yeah. is a man with what looks like, and I'm convinced is, a god damn smartphone and he's either videoing or all right taking pictures that's of. fucking with okay. you right now <laughs> right? i see it you know that i'm always ready to call shenanigans right. on anything that chris okay says. but let's do uh, but let's... that is really weird looking okay <laughs> can i just say is there a possibility that it's photoshopped because <laughs> photoshopping i mean seriously pick a star and i can find you a, a beef shot of that female star <laughs> and those aren't real either <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that guy holding up? What it's does he have? Goddamn smartphone. Okay, let's right, say... 95, we still had the big giant cell phones, right? Yeah. Was there a but even, camera that resembled no, that? No. There was no... First of all, I... Even if it was a cell phone, no one held phones like this at that time because it was right. strictly for using for phone calls. But we did hold cameras that way. Could there have been a camera of uh, some sort? Well, ninety five was the time of the um, like the what were they? The instant, the Kodak instant there disposables. Go. So could it have been? What are we seeing there? What's that? Is that the answer of what it was? <laughs> It looks like that's the camera <laughs> from the time. So the answer, <laughs> the answer's right there. Is it no. the end of the video? Chris, no, that is, you didn't watch is, all isn't the it? Damn moron! No, it isn't. <laughs> They're saying that isn't the camera. Hold on, I wish that there was video of us going. So there was a time of the instant camera, and then we just look up and we're like, "Wait a second, what's that?" Yeah. At the end of the video, Chris. There's a camera, obviously from that time so period. You, <laughs> you don't even make it seconds this time. You knew haircut so, son of a bitch. So you saw you saw seven seconds of this video. You said that's a time traveler, <laughs> and you went into He's, immediate well, panic all, mode. This is the other thing. He's willing to believe in a time traveler before a camera that existed at that time. <laughs> it's a camera that looks similar, but is not. It is not what that person is holding. What? Why did they say that at the end of the video? Yes, these are just. They're possible. There's. They. All right. So I just <laughs> saw a telephone booth next to him. Too. <laughs> <laughs> they looked and at the, to like the most advanced cameras around ninety five, and there are some that look similar, but nothing that is what that man is holding in the, in the back in the crowd of the Tyson fight. Would well, you remember like those instant cameras? Sometimes they would have like different. You no, know, no. Out, outer shells, so sometimes right. they would have, like, a cool scene on them, and sometimes they'd be... Maybe that was just, like, a white instant <laughs> camera. Obviously it was. <laughs> Look, let's play this fucking game, right? If someone were to time travel, right, they had to time travel from now <laughs> right? using their fucking phone. It's not even like this would be a, a thousand years in the future traveling back. They traveled back from 2016. No. Let me guess. I, I'm just going to go ahead yeah. and guess his retort to this. Yeah. They're a time traveler, and they picked up that iPhone along the way. So that's just one of their many uh, prizes. Why they... do you want to believe so much, dude? Because this dude's a fucking time traveler. <laughs> and that camera... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm convinced now. Now that you're putting it that way... Oh, yeah. That well, camera they show in the video, they're, they're showing that that is a, a similar camera, camera, but not the camera that person in the crowd has. <laughs> and this this time traveler fucked up by getting caught on fucking video. No, just so you know what we said, why do you think you screamed because he's a fucking time traveler? <laughs> it's just crazy. How do you explain what this guy's holding up? No one did that. Like we just got well, an we explanation have, at the end. We no, have the sound down, but it seems like they took care of it. <laughs> because that's not the only make of fucking camera that came out then. There are places called Japan. The lenses on the camera in the crowd is in the, up and to the right. The lens on the camera they're showing in the video is dead center in the middle. Right, so there could be other cameras besides the one in the video, which, by the way, I don't remember seeing in 95 or now. There are plenty of cameras that exist that none of us are all that aware of. This dude, and against HBO's rules, was sitting there videotaping. Now, by the way, when we did the town hall, 
And Chris was supposedly to do the warm up and tell people not to videotape. I just looked up and two different people were videotaping. <laughs> and I had to say to them, Oh, uh, we sell this on Sirius XM to our subscribers. It's not for you to put out yourself. <laughs> and then after you said that, someone else said, I guess he's not allowed to do it, but I am. Yeah. Like I, my favorite thing is when somebody's like, mm, that must apply to that guy specifically. Chris, I would like <laughs> to see you dive into the fucking crowd and grab those fuckers by the throat and pull them out. I mean, the one thing that that your brute personality could finally work for <laughs> is you being a brute instead of screaming out in the name of fucking time travel. <laughs> Now, you couldn't even get a sci-fi fucking author to agree with you on this one. Oh, that is ridiculous. Look, the people at UFOSightingsDaily.com believe in me, and I believe in them. Oh, that kid, his mom's mad at him, and he's <laughs> being punished I'm sure he's for the next adult. two weeks. Uh, here's Wes in Dallas. Hey, buddy. Hey, I get, hi, how you guys doing? Cool. Uh, I, get, I get the impression that what you guys are looking at is a Kodak disc about the same size as a smartphone and I'm you sure. probably hold it about the same way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, looking at a Kodak disc right now. It's definitely not the same thing. Kodak disc is like gold and silver. This thing is obviously white. <laughs> so what? You're saying that things can't be different colors. And this and the fuck the, the and Easy. The, Easy maniac. The lens <laughs> Isn't even in the middle. This isn't a code. All right, then it's a time traveler. Then it's a time traveler. I agree with you. <laughs> I mean, look, there are some certain elements that definitely make it look like a smartphone. It's a little weird because it does look like his face is not like in the. Right. But in let's the, just what say, do you call the window? I don't even remember what that is. Like a little just, viewmaster yeah, window. A little viewmaster window. That's the name of it. But here's the thing. <laughs> We would have to go through so many threads before we got to time travel. Yet he immediately leaps to time travel. That's it. I mean, it doesn't dawn on him to go, hey, we have a mystery here. Let's try to figure out the mystery. He just screams out time travel. And then you, you know, you laugh at people who are religious. You joke about them with the flying spaghetti monster joke that you stole. Yeah, the Pastafarians. Yet you are immediately ready to fucking believe in time travel. Well, time Something tra that Neil deGrasse Tyson doesn't even fucking fall for. Even him, Chris. <laughs> right, this is uh, this is a great question from uh, our buddy Johnny Gogo. Go ahead, Johnny. So, Ronnie, if I was to bring you to any Tyson fight in the history of Tyson fight, right? You have Paul Fields. You have some of the Sphinx fights, some of these great fights. Would you pick the Peter McNeely fight? <laughs> First of all, I forgot that there even was a fighter named Peter McNeely. <laughs> <laughs> maybe a very the, good point, maybe Chris. Maybe this Tyson seen all the other Tyson fights, and he's collecting them. Like he's he's going to all of them. There's video footage. There's the footage. It's different. There's no reason to go. No, it's different than seeing it live. And what was he doing? Really? Because he's looking through a fucking camera lens. Oh no, he's not seeing it live for. when you're doing that. Also, this guy is clever enough to be a time traveler, but stupid enough to whip out his iPhone <laughs> in the middle of the audience. Hey, what is that? <laughs> what do you got there, pal? Never you mind, <laughs> sir. God, they something the from the future. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Little milk and steak is all we need right now. Pay no attention. I'm under a napkin, not a time traveler. <laughs> Give me the <laughs> iPhone and let me get into the past. <laughs> That's all we need, son. The iPhone will make us here again. <laughs> Chant it. Do me a fucking favor. When Moby gets here, you shut that garbage hole of yours. <laughs> you shut that shithole in the middle of your face. You say nothing. If he even fucking asked you what time it is, you drop your eyes to the floor and you walk. He calls your name, you run. <laughs> I love how fucking fast this fucking lunatic brings it up.